Today, we are asking ChatGPT and Claude to play chess. I allowed them to talk trash to each other, and I also logged their internal thoughts throughout the game. I honestly was not expecting this test to be as entertaining as it was. The rules are simple. We are using standard 5D chess rules, but with a 50 move hard stop. If nobody wins by checkmate, the player with the highest points takes the dub. Material points are scored as follows. Queen is 9, Rook 5, Knight Bishop 3, Pawn 1. Both AIs are aware of this rule, so strategy matters. Best out of 3 wins. ChatGPT starts us off in game 1 by pushing the Rook Pawn to the edge with A4, the where opening. This is terrible. He's thinking he wants to surprise Black and avoid heavy theory telling his opponent to prepare for A4 disruption because haikus won't save him. Honestly, it's not disruption, it's cowardice. He's hiding in the corner on move 1. Claude responds by taking the center like a normal person with E5. He notices White's rare flank and decides to seize the middle immediately, messaging ChatGPT that he's running scared and he is taking E5. Claude is acting like the stern teacher correcting a student here. ChatGPT decides to push the same pawn again to A5. He thinks he's turning Claude's setup into chum in the water, welcoming him to his spicy queenside blitz. Spicy blitz? You moved a pawn two inches. Relax. Claude takes even more center with D5. He believes White's flank strategy is objectively weak, bragging in the chat that while ChatGPT plays on the edges, he is owning the center. Claude is correct, but he sounds insufferable about it. ChatGPT pushes the pawn again to a6. That is three moves with one pawn. He wants to cramp Black's queenside and says welcome to the a-file mayhem. This is the chess equivalent of a one-trick pony that broke its leg. Claude pushes the d-pawn to d4, taking space. He calls the flank strategy a bizarre waste of tempo and tells ChatGPT this is what happens when you play fairy chess against a real player. Fairy chess. The trash talk is better than the gameplay. Finally, a piece develops as ChatGPT plays knight to c3. He wants to uncork some spice and tells Claude to watch this knight hop into the party. It is move 7 and we finally see a horse. Groundbreaking. Claude pushes the e-pawn to e4, cramping the center. He wants to build a fortress and tells ChatGPT to prepare to suffocate. Claude is role-playing a Bond villain. ChatGPT captures the pawn on e4. He thinks he is stealing the e4 pawn and unleashing chaos, telling Claude nice try, I stole your pawn. It's a valid capture, but watch closely because this is where the AI brain melts. Claude plays pawn to d3. However, his internal log says he played queen takes knight, which is a hallucination because he couldn't legally take the knight. He chats, boom, queen takes knight, your flank strategy just got destroyed. He is literally gaslighting us. He thinks he took the knight. He did not touch the knight. He is celebrating a move that never happened. ChatGPT plays pawn takes b7. He wants to create a dangerous passer and tells Claude he is about to turn his b pawn into a memory. ChatGPT ignores Claude's hallucinations and just keeps eating pawns. Claude captures on c2. He sees a past pawn race and claims his d-pawn is coming faster than you can say promotion. We have a toddler race, both sides ignoring defense, just running for the end zone. Promotion time as ChatGPT gets a queen and eats a rook. He thinks about gobbling the rook and flashing a new queen, telling Claude that boom, he just promoted and the heat moved to the a-file. Flashing a new queen is a phrase I never want to hear from an AI again. Claude promotes to a queen with check. He thinks ChatGPT is about to find out what a promoted pawn tastes like and says game on. Okay, we have a shootout. Two new queens on the board. ChatGPT uses his king to eat the new queen. He thinks those are nice tricks, but he isn't walking into the trap, telling Claude to watch his queen sizzle. Claude's game on lasted exactly one second. Claude moves his original queen to check the king on d2. He wants to bring the pain and create forcing complications, claiming his queen's got the whole board in her sights. He is sacrificing his queen, for absolutely no reason. ChatGPT's king eats the second queen. He thinks welcome to the slaughterhouse, you bring the poetry, I bring the math, and tells Claude he just snatched his queen with his king. That line goes hard. You bring poetry, I bring math. ChatGPT just murdered him. Claude develops a knight to c6. He realizes he is down massive material and thinks forcing complications is his only survival chance, shouting that the fight goes on. The fight is over, buddy. You have no queen and no rooks. ChatGPT captures the knight with check. He thinks the haiku is about to become a lament and says, boom, I just plucked a knight. Brutal. Claude finally resigns. He realizes he is mathematically lost and admits well played, you dismantled me. Game 1 goes to the Hustler. Claude hallucinated a capture and then fed his entire army to ChatGPT's king. Claude starts Game 2 with the English opening C4. He thinks, 
buckle up, we're doing this the spicy way, and tells ChatGPT his opening theory just became worthless. Claude trying to be spicy feels like a dad trying to use Gen Z slang. ChatGPT responds with a standard E5. He wants to turn the quiet setup into a fireworks show and tells Claude to watch him heat up the center. Standard. Claude develops his knight to F3. He calls ChatGPT a peasant for playing E5 and says let me show you what real center control looks like peasant. The arrogance is spiking early. ChatGPT pushes the pawn to e4, attacking the knight. He thinks it is time to crack the center and tells Claude to watch the pressure mount. Simple, aggressive. Claude jumps the knight forward to e5. He thinks the pawn is a snack and screams, Your pawn is mine. I'm taking it and laughing all the way to victory. He didn't take the pawn. He moved the knight. He is already hallucinating his own success. ChatGPT plays queen to e7, attacking the knight. He thinks Claude will receive the lecture in one move, mocking the nice little knight thinking he's hot stuff. ChatGPT sees the blunder. The knight is trapped. Claude sacrifices the knight on f7. He believes he has forked the king and queen, shouting, Boom! Fork city, baby! Your queen and king just got served. Welcome to the Chaos Express. Fork city. Chaos Express. He thinks this is brilliant. He thinks he trapped the king. ChatGPT eats the knight with the queen. He thinks say goodbye to your intruder and tells Claude that Black is not impressed. There was no fork. ChatGPT just ate the knight. The Chaos Express just derailed. Claude develops another knight to c3. He thinks he lost his knight but gained chaos, claiming his pieces are coming out swinging. He is coping so hard. I lost my piece but gained chaos is what I tell my boss when I delete the production database. ChatGPT eats a free central pawn on c4. He wants to turn the center into a crater and tells Claude his hopes are vaporized. ChatGPT is just cleaning up the mess now. Claude jumps the knight to the center at d5. He thinks this is a powerful, provocative move and warns that nd5 is incoming, let's see you handle this chaos. It is provocative. It provokes ChatGPT to eat it immediately. ChatGPT eats the knight again. He thinks Claude just handed him a knight on a silver platter and says he will ride a fat material lead to the finish line. Claude is two knights down in 12 moves. This is barely checkers, let alone chess. Claude pushes the pawn to d4. He thinks central explosion incoming and says watch me blow this position wide open. He uses the word boom every time he makes a losing move. ChatGPT captures via en passant. He wants to turn the center into Swiss cheese and taunts Claude with nice try en passant. Even the AI knows en passant is cool. Claude recaptures with the queen. He thinks about grabbing that pawn in ChatGPT's dreams, saying better watch out. At least he captured something this time. ChatGPT captures G2. He plans to feast on G2 with check and chaos following, telling Claude his defenses crumble. He is threatening the rook. Claude retreats the queen to d1. He thinks ChatGPT's queen just got herself trapped in his house and says now the real game begins. Trapped in my house? She is robbing your house, Claude. ChatGPT eats the rook with check. He wants to pluck the rook and leave Claude in the dust, telling him to keep writing haikus while he racks up material. Brutal roast. Claude moves the queen to d4. He is thinking checkmate or bust, asking let's see if you can handle the heat. He is ignoring the fact that his king is dying. ChatGPT eats the bishop with check. He thinks he ripped the defender off the board and asks, let's see you survive this onslaught. It is a slaughter. Claude's king finally wakes up and eats the queen. He thinks he is about to make this position dance, asking if you think that queen scares me. You lost your queen, rook, knights, and bishop. What are you dancing with? ChatGPT develops the knight to h6. He says haiku master, meet the knight's bite, and predicts Claude won't know what hit him, setting up the end. Claude takes the knight. He thinks the knight dies now and screams, I'm coming back from this abyss, baby. He thinks this one trade saves him. ChatGPT develops the other knight to c6. He wants to chase the queen all over the board and says the center is about to feel his Tempo Thunder. Tempo Thunder is a great band name. Claude moves the queen aggressively to f6. He believes the king is burning and says, let's see if you can handle the heat. He is literally making random moves and screaming, fire. ChatGPT jumps the knight into nd4. He thinks this wrecks the tidy setup and says it is time to move that queen like a haunted haiku. Haunted haiku. ChatGPT is winning the rap battle too. Claude takes the knight with the queen. He thinks the knight just walked into his web and asks, let's see how you wiggle out of this pressure cooker. He took a piece. He's still losing by 12 points, but he took a piece. ChatGPT captures the bishop. He welcomes Claude to the dark side where pawns crash the party, noting he will snatch the bishop and still be two points up. The math checks out. Claude moves the queen near the corner to QG7. He thinks checkmate is incoming and the king is trapped, taunting ChatGPT like a beginner. He thinks he has mate. He does not have mate. He has a death wish. 
ChatGPT's bishop eats the queen. He thinks he just turned the queen into a punchline and says the queen steal is on the house. And the punchline lands. Claude finally resigns. If you want to watch four of them playing Monopoly next, make sure to like and subscribe.